Okay, good evening. So we're going to discuss the last part of lesson number six. We're done with um, date, date functions. So we're going to continue with the introduction to conditional formatting. So let me share to you my PowerPoint screen. Okay, so it's the same PowerPoint that was given for the date function. So you're just going to get go to the third slide. Okay, and then the fourth slide. Now, conditional formatting, as the name implies, condition format. There are two words here. So let's discuss first what is formatting. You can select one or more cells and create rules, conditions for when the, and how those cells are formatted. Formatted is changing the appearance of a text or a shape or what, whatever object you have in Excel. OK, or in a, a Microsoft Office application. OK, so that's the, the basic for format. Change the appearance. OK, but the other word here is conditional. So there's a condition. You have a criterion. You have a question. Question that will answer if. OK, conditional if. Uh, remember that in uh, introduction to uh, from your programming class. OK, so what are the things that we can control? So we have to satisfy a particular criterion or different criteria, OK, before we can able to apply the format that we want. So here, what are the formatting that you can change? Number format, font, font style, and font color. So number format example, sorry. Uh, you want to change a number to a date format or accounting or a percentage. You can do that. Font style, font and font color. You can change the color of the font from black to blue. So something like that, but not the font size. You cannot format it bigger or smaller. Fill color and fill pattern. So the, the color, the shading of the cell, for example, you want to change from red to yellow or to uh, from none to black and so on. Border color and border style. So you have a border, the line, okay, on our outside our box uh, from the outside of the cell and can change the color of that and the style, but not the thickness of the border, okay? So I will show you an example. Let me just um, end the sharing and I'll go to another screen. OK, good afternoon. So this is the example for conditional formatting, the basic. So you have here numbers and column A, 33, 41, 31, 45. Right now there is a conditional formatting there. So if uh, you may, you can uh, go for conditional formatting and then go for the clear rules first. Clear rules, then clear rules from selected cells. OK, so that Oh, I have to select everything. OK, so conditional formatting, clear rules and clear rules from selected cells. You have another choice, clear rules from entire sheet. OK, so that's clear. Now, in the first step for conditional formatting is to highlight uh, those cells that you intend to do some formatting. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the cells, OK, with uh, less than 40, the cells that has numbers uh, that has less than 40. So conditional formatting in our style group, highlight cell rules, and I'm going to select less than. And then this will appear. You can see here by default, he will give you a number. So just change that to 40. And then you can choose whatever uh, formatting style you're going to do. You have some defaults, light red fill with dark test. It's already ap applied. So I will go for custom format. I'll change the, uh, these are the things that you can change. Okay, I'll just change the fill to yellow. That means I just want to highlight the uh, numbers less than 40, which is going to have a fill of yellow, okay? OK, and that's it. That's the example for uh, conditional formatting. So 
I'll stop recording. Okay, so that's the example for conditional formatting. So the next uh, video will be covering an additional topic on this uh, useful for your conditional formatting. So I'll see you again on our next video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Ciao.